Yo, welcome back to another video. We have a lot of news for you today with ponies coming out with the most nonsensical quotes, questions, 2013 asking for their game back. And you know, there's just so much going on from physical games to toys for Bob. It's all happening. And we do have a really big news, well, kind of big, I guess, but something that was known for a couple of years now due to an Nvidia leak, but it does seem that Final Fantasy IX is going to get a remake. Now, before I get into that, something I want to do to encourage you all to, you know, post in my comment sections below is to read out the top comment of the previous video. And in this case, it is Jinji Truck 23. Now he said, can I just say, I said many times, Sony inflated numbers to create an illusion of high demand to make consumers, gamers or not, want the product. It's a sales technique. I got laughed at constantly. They done it when the PS5 first launched saying they only made free consoles so you better buy them quick. Then they said they sold 5 billion to make it more enticing to casuals. They do it with the games too. Sony have done this for years, but I got told I'm wrong. This is also why it's reported that Xbox has a higher monthly user base than PlayStation. And ponies try to say that's because it includes PC Game Pass, but that's not true. Of course it's not because PC players would never ever be seen playing PC Game Pass, right? It has to be on their Lord Gaben Steam. So that's a very, very factual statement because if any PC player owns up to not playing games on Steam and God forbid they play it on PC Game Pass or Epic Game Store or GOG Origin or whatever launcher you want to say, uh, I think, you know, we'll probably see meteors crashing down onto planet Earth. So that is very, very not true. The courts got the documents from Sony and Microsoft. It stated clearly Xbox consoles has a higher monthly usage than the PlayStation 5 console. Fact. Then we look at the sales numbers for PlayStation exclusives. And that's ponies do not buy games and support devs. Now Sony finally get caught out. It's because they inflated sales numbers and I said it. So. That was the comment. I think there's a lot of truth into this. This is in relation to my previous video where I made a video talking about Sony's lies, padding console numbers. And yeah, thank you for your comment. And now on with this news story that we have here. So Karim basically turns around and says, breaking news, Final Fantasy IX remake coming in and it will be multi-platform. So Xbox players, no need to worry about missing out, hopefully. Now, there's a lot to digest here, but the reality is uh, there's no confirmation that this is actually coming multi-platform. As much as uh, Karen wants this to be true, it's just not true right now. This all stems from Yoshi P adding fuel to the Final Fantasy IX remake rumors by teasing that there's a reason, you know, Final Fantasy IX is so prominent in the new uh, Dawn Trail expansion and that there are reasons outside that are stipulating to this. Of course, this then didn't stop people giving rise to, you know, being dumb about it by saying, so remakes and remasters are okay now. And I'm like, well, as you can see on screen right now, I said, yeah, when it's 24 to 26 years old, pending the release date of when remake nine is eventually released, sure. When it's three months old, like PlayStation does it, then no, it's not. It's all about timing, literally. I mean, he's saying that goalposts are moving. Literally goalposts are moving. He's saying that the, you know, releasing a remake for a game that's one year old is the equivalent of releasing a remake for a game that's 25 years old. How dumb can you get? How dumb and stupid can you get? I did tell him to delete his post, but then I asked him if he could leave it because I wanted it to be in this video. So I needed to make sure I had the footage in order to put it here because I just wanted to highlight just how dumb this guy actually looks because this level of IQ is just stupid, right? I'm gonna sit there and say that 
having a game that's 25 years old and being remade in modern technology is moving the goalposts, folks. I mean, that is the level of stupidity that is coming from that camp. I just, I just don't know, folks. I just don't know. But, you know, at the end of the day, the Final Fantasy IX rumors coming multiplayer and what Karim said is, you know, at the moment, not confirmed not true but we do know that square enix does want to make a final fantasy 9 remake it did appear in the nvidia league so there are plans for it but whether it will actually go to xbox or not is unknown final fantasy 9 despite being a loved you know entry in the franchise is not as big as say final fantasy 7 so there is a good chance that this could appear on xbox but time will tell the big story came yesterday with jez corden Basically, uh, Xbox has reached an agreement with Crash Bandicoot Spyro Dev Toys for Bob in their new game. Now, we already know that when they split, they split because they no longer wanted to be under the shadow of Call of Duty. And it's clear that if they stayed within Microsoft, that probably would have been the case, especially with their experience. If any shit hit the fan, they would be the first to come in as they've been the support for multiple years now under Bobby Kotick. So that probably would have continued as a get out of jail free card. So they decided to go independent and everyone thought that this was going to be the case. However, an agreement has been reached that Toys or Bob will be making new games independently with Xbox IP. Microsoft will be funding the game and they will be making it. This generally means that the game is going to be exclusive. So whether this is now Spyro the Dragon, Crash Bandicoot, or even a Banjo-Kazooie, and a lot of people are hoping it is a new Banjo-Kazooie that is gonna come along, is unknown. I mean, I personally would rather have a Banjo-Kazooie. We haven't had one of those in a long time, but you know, people are now saying, well, they funded Pentiment, they funded Grounded, they funded Hi-Fi Rush, and they came onto PlayStation. And unfortunately, this is a byproduct of what Phil Spencer has done. Every game now has been questioned. And I know there's a video of him out there saying, I wish every time we release the game, people would stop questioning whether this game is going to be on the Switch or the PlayStation. You did it to yourself, buddy. You did it to yourself. That's all I can say. I understand why you did it, because of the legal requirements under oath that you gave during the FTC trial, but you still did it to yourself. But as of right now, this game should be exclusive, whatever it is, to the Xbox platform, even if, you know, I don't even like saying this, it's a timed exclusive, it's going to be exclusive for at least one or two years. Depending on how it sells will depend, will determine, I guess, if it's going to be indefinitely exclusive. But overall, great news all round. Toys for Bob finally get to work on the games they want to work on. We get the games we want, like Spyro, Crash, uh, Banjo-Kazooie, among other games. You know, platform games have been in short supply these days. And outside of Ratchet and Clank, I really can't remember the last one I actually really enjoyed. So it's been a while since we've had good platform games. Kenner was another good one. So it's nice to see that Toys for Bob are returning to their roots and will be delivering great games to their communities once more. Now, of course, yesterday in my video, I did touch on the fact that Xbox is working on a handheld console. And currently, right now, I know a lot of people want the Steam Deck to be regarded as an Xbox handheld console. And it's really not, because you can't natively install Game Pass on there in order to run the games. It's basically uh, cloud gaming only, or you have to buy them through Steam. However, the Asus ROG Ally is pretty much right now an Xbox console because it can run native Game Pass games through PC Game Pass. So at least that's the closest thing we have to it right now. The one that's supposed to be arriving from Xbox, personally, is supposed to be running native Xbox games. Now, whether that will also run native Game Pass PC games as well and have like a hybrid OS, which is something I would like to see um, locked away in that fashion, would definitely be really really cool i'm really looking forward to the xbox handheld i hope you are too and if you are let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts are of the xbox handheld and of course with toys for bob what games are you looking forward to let me know in the comment section below and in the next stream just like i did in, at the start of this video i will highlight the top comment and read it out now, Grounded is getting a physical version. It only took the game going multi-plat before we could actually get physicals. But at the end of the day, you know, 
for those of you that are physical hunters and do want a physical platform, this is it. You can get it from Limited Run Games. Now, unfortunately for us in the UK, we get hit really hard with delivery charges, so it's going to be a little more expensive. And I do wish that there was a, you know, I think it's called Red Arcade. They would pick up some of this as well and do it, but you know, for the time being, the only way to get them is limited run games. And it's a bit sad, but it is what it is. But for you, uh, physical hunters, go to town. But if that wasn't enough, you can also get this. Now, this actually looks pretty damn sweet. This looks really, really damn cool. This is the collector's edition for the grounded, fully yoked edition. There's a lot of cool stuff here from, you know, old retro cassettes to VHS to... I mean, it just looks awesome. Um, it, it looks so awesome that I'm actually tempted to pick it up. That's how good it looks. I don't, I mean, I like Grounded. It's a fun game, even though I don't like the building aspect of it. But that collection just looks too damn cool to pass up. Now, if we're looking at what features are being included in the Fully Yorked update, you're going to get a new game plus, fire, red and black ant queens, infused bugs, new molars, new achievements, ability to upgrade gear past level 9, new mutations, new weapon variants, secret door, beat the Javamatic, brood mother, mantis and wasp queen to open a secret door, what's behind that door they ask, and much more. Final large update to Grounded. So this is basically it. This is making the game feature complete and it doesn't look like there's going to be any more updates to this. This is coming April the 16th to Xbox, PC, Nintendo Switch, PS4, 5 and Xbox Game Pass. But it does say final large update. So maybe there'll be smaller updates like tweaks, fixes here and there. But it looks like this is basically it. And whatever's behind that secret door is the final send off. But anyway, I'm going to have to go and find out what 2013 wants with Rise of the Ronin because uh, apparently it should have won game of the year in 2013, but somehow they lost the game and they found it now in the lost and found in 2024. And so 2013 is now using a DeLorean to try and get back their game, you know, from 2024 back to 2013 where it rightfully belongs. All right, folks, that is the video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell to stay up to date of all content I release. Don't forget to leave a comment below and I will see you in the next one. As always, remain legend.